Alright guys, Andy here, welcome back to the Medieval Island Kingdom build episode 11. Hey, we've been building levels A, B, C and D, you can probably just see rendering in the distance. Level A, all the farms, all the animals, level B, well, to start with, level B is going to be industry. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, tap that notification bell if you like these kind of creative builds, especially the 5x5 builds, which I know a lot of you have been enjoying. So level B, you're going to start off with some industry. By the way, if you want to download this island um, in completely blank form in Bedrock and Java edition, so you could do your own city on the island, then hit me up at patreon.com forward slash Andy is Yoda. Today's first build is going to be a pottery somewhere where some pots would be built so i'm starting off with a very simple five by five shape here disguising it a little bit making it a bit more interesting with things like a balcony things like gates around the outside you've got shutters on the windows i've got a nice kind of a workshop area on the right hand side here um, i've put some i think they're smokers down to represent potter's wheels i think they're smokers <laughs> i can't remember i think yeah i think they're smokers so i've got potter's wheels and i've got a little kiln there made of bricks i've got some woods uh some campfire to represent the wood and some player heads to represent the wood that might go into the kiln and i've got kind of a, a shop area here uh, surrounded by some iron bars and some trapdoors on top so there we go that is the potter we'll have a closer look at that later on i also added in some glazed terracotta as well okay so what i'm going to do here is just expand the canal a little bit increase the paths and i like doing these paths because they're three wide and it fits into my five by five system really nicely okay so this build is now going to be the Fletcher's house, somewhere where all the arrows would be made. So kind of an L-shaped house and this bit that I'm working on right now with the trapdoors is kind of an arrow firing testing area. I'll show it in first person a little bit later on in the video, but we're going to get all the time lapses done first and then we can have a nice uh, walk through and see all the details firsthand. So this Fletcher's house, very, very simple indeed. Um, we've got a nice sort of uh, accommodation wing on the top and an area down below where there's going to be a workshop and then an upper workshop as well. So you could work up there making your arrows. I did it in some details like a chimney as well. Now over here, we've got a dungeon. A lot of you were asking for a dungeon and even a torture room, which is not very nice, but I thought I would build one Anyway, so this little room here is going to be kind of a storage room at the top. So what I've done is taken a slice off the tower and I'll move that back in with World Edit so we can see in, inside. So I love this mixture of mossy cobblestone, mossy stone brick and even some dead brainy coral. And the middle I think is going to be <laughs> torture room. I don't like it, but it is going to be, we've got kind of a, a chair of doom. <laughs> we've got a table. I've got some um, redstone dust on the floor and we've even got fire as well. Down below, a bit more pleasant. <laughs> if you uh, think staying in a prison is pleasant, you've got uh, some prisoners down there in a, kind of a makeshift prison at the bottom. Lots of cobwebs and we'll have a good look inside that later on as well. Okay, so that's one, two, three builds done. The next build is going to be a brewery. Of course, we're going to need some big jugs of beer in this place. So I've got a mixture of stone brick for this brewery and oak logs as well. Again, building up in the 5x5 five five system gives you a nice structure to the build. And then you can go ahead and make it look a lot more interesting. What I've done is add some huge barrels at the side here where you would mix all the ingredients for the beer, things, things like water. Uh, barley or wheat and then hops for flavoring as well i've got a water butt up here nice big water butt which would supply plenty of water for making your beer i think i need to add a few more butts in our town actually because storing water i think would be pretty pretty important we've only got that one lake in the middle for fresh water in fact some sort of aqueduct system coming from that fresh lake would be would be pretty good to do in the village in the future okay so we're just uh adding on a roof here with polished diorite and we've got some is it acacia blocks there for the nice orange color 
I've added some more barrels on the other side of the main living quarters there, or the main workshop really. I don't do the interior of these builds, but if you download it from my Patreon, which you can tomorrow, all these stages, completely downloadable, Bedrock and Java edition for the PC or the Mac, then you can do the furnishing, you can do the interiors of all these buildings yourself. Decided to go for a bit more fancy roof using some prismarine and spruce. And I've actually started to really expand on the 5x5 system, making it 7x7, having some bits sticking out at certain points. And this really starts to develop my style here. You can see the roof has got very, very complicated. We'll have a good look at that in a few minutes' time as well. But I actually really, really like this roof. And it really inspired me to make some more complicated roofs. And then we're moving across the road here, across the main road. So we're leaving the kind of the blacksmith, the stonemason, the bricklayer, and the Fletcher area, the workshop area. And we're now into an area here where we're probably going to have some more human-like activities. So things like libraries, schools, and this. This is a big build. I feel this would be important in our town. This is a tavern somewhere where everybody knows your name. <laughs> this is going to be where you drink your beer. In medieval times, beer was pretty, pretty important. Especially since you couldn't always trust the water that you drank. Sometimes the water would be contaminated. People would get sick. They would kind of realize it was the water. And beer, being fermented, um, was sterile. No bugs in the beer, as long as you drank it quickly. And it used to be, uh, if you go back quite a few years, maybe 800 years ago, um, all the women in the villages in medieval times used to make the beer. And then we discovered that adding hops into the beer changed its taste for the better and made it last a long time. And then, of course, there was much more profit to be had when uh, the beer could last a long time. You could transport it and sell it from town to town. And that's, of course, when the men got involved. Those sneaky mens, they took it off the women and they made the breweries because there was a lot more money to be made, which is very, very sexist and very disappointing. But that's, uh, that's humans. <laughs> We've got our faults. Very fancy roofs, we've got round roofs, we've got triangular roofs, we've got um, hip roofs, that's like small roofs joining onto bigger roofs like this one here, so primary and secondary roofs, and we've got um, small slab roofs, roofs at the side. So a really complicated tavern, somewhere where you could actually stay as well, you could live in this, this could be somewhere where you could get a, a room for the night, and you could also come and drink your mead or your beer. I've added in some lanterns, some chimneys, some flower boxes as well. So lots and lots of detail added to the tavern. We'll have a good look around that later on. All right, so another build here back into the industrial section. This is going to be the glass blowers house and shop and workshop as well. So I've used these blue and green carpets to represent the awnings covering over the place at the front of the shop where you could buy your glass, I guess, for your windows or the tradespeople could come along and buy the glass. At the back, we're going to be adding a workshop. So I'm just doing that just now with some smooth stone, adding in some kilns in a few seconds as well. And the kilns are going to be obviously where you would blow the glass. There we go. Some nice kilns, put down some uh, iron rods as well. We'll see those later on in the video. And the iron rods represent those big sort of glass blower things that the glass blowers blow through to make your glass. I've always wanted to try glass blowing. Maybe there's a class near me where I could actually do that. I would love to make something out of glass. Wouldn't that be cool? Who else would like to do that? Let me know in the comments if you've ever done glass blowing for real and made maybe a vase or something out of colored glass. Right, joining on to the glass blower's um, house, not connected, but another important industry. And thank you to whoever suggested this in the live stream, I can't remember your name, but um, someone suggested a Cooper's. And a Cooper's is of course where barrels were made. Now I was live streaming this build at this point and it was extremely warm in my room. I think it was 32 degrees Celsius. I was actually struggling a bit to build this, so it doesn't get finished. I'll finish it in the next episode. I actually had a micro sleep <laughs> during one of my live streams. I just shut my eyes and I was like almost, you know when you're just nodding off? And I was like, whoa, wait a minute, I'm actually streaming. Hey, let's have a look at these builds in real time. 
So let's start back where we began at the potter's house. I think it was right here. I'll show you guys what I did here. So we've got plenty of pots, some uh, clay being made, some terracotta as well. Here's the kiln. Uh, yeah, I moved the kiln down here so all the wood is ready to go in there to fire the pots. And you just slide the pots in there. And I've got some campfires under there as if the heat is kind of coming through as well. Here's the potter's wheels where you would make the clay. Uh, sponsored by Jeep and Dad who sent in a super chat donation. Thank you so much, uh, Jeep and Dad. Again, of course, I haven't done the interiors. That is up to somebody else to do, whoever downloads the map. Um, so here we've got the clay arriving at the brickworks. What else did we do in this episode? Um, <laughs> oh yes, we did the Fletcher's house. So here's the Fletcher's house. Person who makes the arrows in here. Again, this door leads into pretty much nothing inside. We've got grindstones, we've got Fletcher's benches up here. This one's sponsored by David, thank you so much. The Master Fletcher's. Pick two bows, get one free. We get the point. And here is where all the bows would be made. And this is where you would test them as well. So what do you think of my ideas? Hopefully this inspires you to get building in Minecraft as well. So just along the road in our industrial area, we've got kind of a weird looking, what does happen to this tree? Let's just tidy up, tidy up this tree as we go. That's looking a bit more reasonable. Um, so what's this? Ah, oh, this is craft glazing. This is uh, someone else who was watching one of the live streams on YouTube, sent in a, a super chat donation. So they got to sponsor the, the glazing building craft glazing you will see right through us yeah maybe not the best slogan but we've got a little workbench here uh, made of iron and of course underneath here the secret is to have some levers which means your iron trapdoors can stand upright so this is the, these are the kilns here where you would put in your glass blobs on the blow the blow sticks the blow pipes whatever they're called as well so this is where the glass is made and this is where you could come and order your glass and buy it right here Cool. Craft glass. Um, this is the one I didn't finish. So this is the um, Cooper's house. This is where all the barrels are. You can come and buy a barrel here. And this is the workshop at the back. Planks of wood, aka extinguished campfires, getting turned into barrels at the back. A lot more detail needing to be added to this. For example, I haven't even finished off this area up here. That definitely does need to be finished. I think in a lot of these areas as well, what I really should be doing is putting on some sort of big sign as well to attract in some customers. So let's put a sign here to represent the Cooper's house where you build all your barrels. So can we put a barrel into the item frame? I guess we can, so that's easy peasy. There we go. Come and buy your barrels. We could even put a barrel up there to represent all the barrels. Pretty cool. I don't like this showing up here. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I need to do that. Yeah, a lot of details needing to be finished off in this Cooper's. I was falling asleep in the live stream, so I didn't do it justice. So this is the uh, the. The glazer's house. Let's bring bring that out as if it's held up, and we can also add a sign for the glazers as well. Let's grab some nice glass, a couple of colours of glass. Hopefully, will look good up here. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. There we go. Buy your glass right there. What else can we do? We've got the Fletcher's house over here and we could add a nice sign. I guess these have, these guys have got a pretty good sign already, but we could add another one. But look at this. This is my pride and joy for this episode. This is the tavern. Have a look. I really went very, very complicated indeed. So we had the 5x5 five five system here and then I turned it into, as you can see, just by having these come out and this come out this is the seven by seven system on top and round here we've got extra things sticking out so these are this is called in medieval times jettying when you had a small building at the bottom and then it would jetty out so i'm jetting out by one there and then jetting out by two 
blocks or two or three blocks here and it really adds a lot of character so if you're doing medieval builds do lots and lots of jettying as well so it starts off there it goes out and then comes out even more and then if this house here had jetties coming out they would almost be able to touch at the top like really really narrow streets at the top with a bit more room at the bottom again the inside of this place very very empty indeed um in fact there's not even a way hmm, need a door need a door give me a door in case your door any door will do this place has got loads of loads of space inside but of course down below you would need to add in lots and lots of furniture as well but there's so much to this build and then down here this is probably the main drinking area would be certainly in here cozy around the fire big fireplace here needs to be done as well it leads out to this kind of porch area as well where you could kind of just have your have your beer here and watch the canal on all things go by on the canal like that so there we go that is episode 11 guys don't forget i'm gonna be making this island downloadable uh, in its present state with all these buildings on my patreon and that's my job for tomorrow you can also download it right now on patreon.com forward slash andy joda in the blank island version where you get all these tiers with nothing well just maybe a f one or two builds on them and um yeah you could do your own island it could be a modern island it could be an island castle i don't know anyway oh we built one more thing we built one more thing we built a gate we built a gate here and this was sponsored by jacob kreft as well he was very generous with the super chats in the live stream so we gave him another building look at this how cool is that we've got a little portcullis coming down and we've got ourselves a little gate as well so this is the path the path up from level a you come up here we're probably gonna need some more paths as well and we're gonna need to extend the wall as well the wall needs to be extended all the way along here as well so more jobs to be done i'm streaming this every day in september at 2 p.m uk time apart from the weekends where i'll be doing some later streams but yeah 2 p.m during the weekdays uk time which is 9 a.m eastern standard united states time i'm going to be live streaming the kingdom build guys thank you so much for watching episode 11 i've been andy you've been you thank you so much ciao ciao in the blocks be with you